Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography. In collaboration with Greater Than Gatsby, we are so excited to bring you the new Innocence Collection 2 workflow. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how I just retouched this image using a few new enhancements that we made to the Innocence Retouch. Um, so please go ahead and visit video one if you haven't already to see how I did that. We're gonna go ahead and get started in the Innocence Workflow 2. And just to give you a little bit of an overview, you're going to have your complete workflow color bases, artistic enhancements, fix the green brushes, botanical blends, sun drenched vignettes, finishing touches, black and whites, and of course we put some resizing and sharpening in there for you as well. On this image, I'm going to go ahead and use spoonful of sugar. I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down just a little bit, and you can see it just makes it nice and clean. I'm going to go down into my artistic enhancements. I'm going to get a lemon head, which gives it a little bit of warmth and a little bit of glow as well. I'll take that down just a little bit. My next artistic enhancement is going to be hot tamale. And I love what this does to the image as well. Now this is affecting her skin a little bit too much, but I'm going to go ahead and take the overall opacity down just a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and click into my layer mask with my brush at about 90%. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over her skin. So I'm taking that off of her skin and her hair. So I'm really wanting that more on the background of the image than anything else. The next thing we're going to do is go down into our botanical blends for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and click on sunflower. Now on your botanical blends, you'll notice when you play them, you'll have two that come up for each one. So you'll have the foreground and you'll have a background. This one, I just want to use the foreground color. If I wanted to use the background, I would just simply click on that. But I just want to use this on the foreground so you can see what that does. I'm going to go ahead and click inside of my layer mask there. And I'm going to use my black brush. I'm just going to go ahead and mask this off of her skin and our, her face. And I'm going to go grab my white brush. I'm being a little bit sloppy just for because I'm rushing through to make this video not as long. But I went over just a little bit too much here. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to fix that up a little bit. And so I'm just going back and forth with my black and white brush to sort of blend that in a little bit better. Okay, now I also want to put one of the botanical blends on the top of this image. So I'm going to go ahead and use Lucky Clover. And this time I'm going to click off of the foreground and I'm going to just use the background color. I'm going to click inside my layer mask. I'm going to get a black brush at 100%. And I'm going to click make sure I'm masking this off of her hair and her skin. And then I also want to mask it off of my botanical blend that I put down at the bottom. So it just sort of fades away and it's more of a gradient. So I don't want the green on the bottom. I like to keep these two separate on this image. Okay, so you can see what that did. It just makes it nice and dreamy, which everybody loves, that dreamy, dreamy look. Okay, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna go down, and I just wanna show you um, how I would use maybe one of these sun drenched vignettes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on fire and ice for the cropped image, because this is pretty tight, this image itself. And you can see there what that does. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click inside of the layer mask. First, I'm gonna take it down a little bit. It's a little bit too strong. down to almost like 50%. And then I'm going to click in the layer mask and I'm just going to go ahead and use my black brush and I'm going to go ahead and take it off of more of this bottom area on this image because I just really like more so what it's doing on the top of this image. And there you have it. Okay. If we sc scroll down just a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of this one really quick. So this is before we started. This is where we're at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this. And I'm gonna go ahead and use um, one of the velveteens on here. 
once you use the velveteens, it's going to flatten your image anyway, so you can either do it yourself or have it do it for you. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Velveteen Magic. And this is going to give it just more of that dreamy effect. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down. And I'm also going to head and click in my layer mask here. And I'm just going to wipe this off of her, her face at about 60%. So it's going to be more on the background of this image. Because it was darkening up her eyes a little bit too much. But I love all the contrast it's giving and that little bit of pop it gives to the rest of the image. Okay. And there you have it, guys. Again, here's our before. Here's our where we're at right now. So before and after. Before and after. I think you all are going to absolutely love these this workflow. I'm about to do um, the next image. It's going to be one of my new fall images, which I'm madly in love with. And I'm going to show you how you can really enhance those colors and add a little bit of pop to those. So please come back and for more videos. And if you're interested in buying this collection, visit www.greaterthangatsby.com. And we hope you enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.